right. And thank you so much for coming to India for this amazing premiere four days before it launches on Netflix. Thank you so much for no, being here. No, thank you for having us. Thank you. We are very, very excited to be here. Thank you. Everyone has been waiting. These kids, everybody's been waiting all day, like over six hours. They've been out here, their phones, they're like, we gotta charge our phones. When are they coming? Tell us the truth. Just out here waiting for you guys. No one has eaten. They haven't stepped away. They haven't gone to the loo, nothing. It's a dangerous situation to step out there, but they have been here for all of you. They're so excited and they absolutely cannot wait to watch it with all of you. All right. So we have a few questions for you. Are you ready? Yes. Are we're you ready. ready? Go. All right. <laughs> You've been in uh, Mumbai for the last few hours. How's it been? I know there's been a bit of press. You, you've been day, very yeah. busy. Have you been able to step out and see a bit of Mumbai? Th this is my first time out. This is my first time. Really? <laughs> out of the hotel? Yeah. Yeah, we've been we've been doing press. We landed this morning, and you came to see us. I came to yes, I came to see you. First time out. <laughs> I, I, know. I gotta say, I've been I've been walking around the city. Uh, I went to the markets. Oh, nice. Uh, I've seen the streets. I mean, I love this city. It's fantastic. It's great, Beautiful. right? It's a lot of smells. It's a lot of smells to take in. <laughs> wow. It is. It's true. <laughs> I know this is not his first time because the last time he was here. We danced together. We, we danced? We danced in switch. <laughs> wow. And a couple of Indian steps. Ooh, ooh. Yes. He was ooh. bragging about we it. Did. He was like we bragging about it. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. But is it a first time for you? And what is? what did you expect and how's it been? Yeah. I was here in uh, 2012. Wow. Yeah, I visited the set of a friend of mine's movie, Ferrari Kisawari. Okay. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. And uh, I went to the Bollywood Film Awards. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Wow. You presented, didn't you? I presented uh, Best Film <laughs> with uh, Vidhu Vinod Chopra. Wow. And he, uh, he, he got up in front of everybody and he said, uh, this is my friend Joel. You have no idea who he is. <laughs> Google him. <laughs> and I just went bright red. People know who you are. But it was amazing. Numi, you, did you go out today? No, this you, is my first this time. Your first time? Oh my yeah. Way, I'm super uh, excited. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's so sad. All right, did you guys eat any Indian food or just like be on the safe side? You were like, I want some salmon, I want some steak. Like, yeah. Or no. did you like, did you get like, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna explore the Indian menu, give me some masala, give me some chicken tikka, something like that? The, the, last, yes. time, the last time I was here, Akshay had a party at his house, and it was literally the best food I've ever had in my yes. life. Yes! But what was it? Well, well it was a, a little bit of everything. My favorite is always the chicken tikka masala. Chicken tikka masala, with the yes! Basmati. Yeah, that's always. With the green chutney and stuff. Like and he that. had like yeah. five or six different <laughs> kinds of naan, the bread, it. I was, yeah, yeah, he, know, <laughs> he, knew, he did it right. Yeah. What Joel, I, yeah. I know people in Australia live a really uh, outdoor kind of a lifestyle. Like, everything's a challenge. But eating Indian food, my friend. That's the real challenge. Have you done that? <laughs> <laughs> Have you? It really you? is. It really is. Uh, I don't really see what the challenge is. I mean, it's you so eat spicy. it, you love it. It's so, so spicy. spicy. I die. I, I can't eat yeah. it. I'm like, I, I love it. I start yeah. crying. I know, I know. See, I'm like sweaty. Uh, and, yeah, I, yeah. I grew up on Mexican food, which has a lot of chili yeah. in it. So I yeah. really like the chili. The, yeah, the tikka the masala. Uh, yeah. it's very good. The peppers, the little green peppers. Oh, man. Very I good. Any of that. So <laughs> I, see a, I see a lot of camaraderie and a lot of brotherhood. You've done a film of uh, which yeah. we're a huge fan. Suicide Massive, Squad. Yes, of course. Yeah. That, that shot. Yeah. That scene. Yeah. When you just come out and like, yeah. Oh my yeah. God. Oh my God. But now that, now that you, you guys are fun people, we've been following you since, since the beginning. Since you, we're gonna, who is the prankster or the clown on the set out, out yeah. of all of you guys? The prankster. Or is everyone pretty calm? Big winner. I don't know. Am I like a prankster? Like, I mean, Who's I like to have fun. I do have fun. I do. Ha I like to have fun. Yeah, uh, Joel had like three to three and a half hours a day in makeup to create that, that yeah. character. Yeah. So Joel wasn't actually in a joking mood. Uh. He, he wasn't feeling very jokey. So <laughs> I, like, I, I like to have fun. I like to have a good time. Yeah, so Will I, I likes probably... to have too much fun, and uh, he's a little bit too positive. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> for my liking. And one day he came up to me and he was like in his positive mood and he's like, yeah, let's go to work. I like, like hate Will, that. 
Yeah, he's like, take Maybe all that positivity yeah. out of my yeah. face. Yeah. Too Get too that sunshine. positivity away. Too much sunshine. But no, Joel, he went, he went through a lot to play this character. It was three hours in makeup. Then it was an hour every day just to get out of it. And it was like, you know, Epic. this thick on his face and everything. So, you know, when, you're, when, you're, when you see this role, there was a, a whole lot of commitment. And uh, he was able, even through all of that, to be able to create a, a character Bravo. and still Woo! to emote. So, Joel, sorry. Yeah, no, no, please. Were there, were there any nights you were like, hey, I gotta come back here early in the morning in about four or five hours to shoot again. Let's not take it out. Yeah, just Freak yeah. some people out on the road. Yeah, just walk around. Yeah. Be tough. <laughs> we would leave yeah. the set, and a lot of the sets, we, we, we were shooting on location, and we'd get in the, in the car and drive back to the unit base. And it was one, it was one small delight for me in the, in the evening to just stop at the lights, at the traffic lights. Get around. And look at somebody, and they'd be driving their car, and they'd look across at me, and I'd be like, <laughs> "How you doing?" And they'd be like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa!" Yeah, yeah. I would like so love that. I walk up to someone, like, "We exist." I yeah. <laughs> I, I tried though with my elf ears. I asked if I could keep them on, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to make it easier for me. I'm not as patient as you are. Yeah. They didn't let me keep them though. <laughs> I can do one hour. <laughs> One of our first scenes was a driving scene with these guys that's in the movie, and uh, you know, there's a lot of humor, it's very funny. We're in downtown Los Angeles in a pretty rough area. Uh, you guys would be surprised how rough parts of LA can be. And I got Mr. Smith and Mr. Edgerton in the car, and we're trying to do the scene, and everywhere we drive, Will Smith, Will Smith, Will Smith. Like, the no one cares, city. no one cares that there's I think a monster you hear it in the movie. right next yeah. to him. Yeah. yeah, you can hear it in the movie. You see people waving in the background. Oh my God, that's insane. Oh, thank you, Daddy! Daddy, Daddy! We love you. We love you. <laughs> you, you have no idea She's there like have been people <laughs> singing your songs, talking about the movies that you've done. Yeah. Uh, the best, man, as a director, to have a, have a star cast like this is amazing. To, to be working with such talented actors. Best memories from the making of the film. Also, like, who had the biggest tantrum on, like, the worst day ever? <laughs> uh, like, spill. Uh, Watch out. <laughs> Best memories are probably, it's, for me, it's always finishing the film because you work so hard. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. you know, by the end, you're racing to get everything done. And, you know, I think we're working nights. And for some reason, I like to shoot in the dark and the rain. I don't know why. It just yeah. looks good, right? Yeah. And Will would come in singing Christmas carols and singing songs and being very happy. And I'm very angry because we're behind in the shoot schedule. And no matter how he tried, he couldn't make me happy. But I think I succeeded in making him a little sad. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, oh my God. God. All right. Uh, now that you're in India and we're gonna see the mo you're going to see the movie with your Indian fans, yep. anything that you expect out of that and a message that you'd want to give to all your fans here, all of you? I mean, for me, you know, the movie's about, a lot about Joel's character, who, who's playing an orc. And in this society, you know, the orcs are sort of looked down upon. They're the workers. Um, their life is much harder. And, and he has dreams. And the message of the movie is that no matter who you are, you, you need to be able to achieve your dreams. Nobody can tell you who you are. Nobody can define you but you. You, you, you live your life from your own heart. That's what the movie's about. Awesome. Good message. Yes. yes. Now, there, there's uh, beautiful ideas, uh, uh, you know, about uh, just racism and just how we treat each other. You know, there's a, in this film, the, the elves in the film are the top of society. So the elves represent the, the, those who have, and the orcs represent those who do not have. And in, in our fantasy world, the humans are in the middle. So my character, as, as an African-American, my character is racist against orcs. So it, it's, um, the, the movie's an interesting exploration of how we treat each other. What I love about science fiction is you get to go into this bizarre fantasy world, but we're actually talking about real things. But because you're in a fantasy world, it actually... Uh, you can you can digest it a whole lot easier than if we were talking about the actual uh, social issues. Wow, and I, I, I think it's a film that you can see over and over because it has so many layers. Like it's it's an amazing you know action. The relationship between those two is just fantastic. But then it's like so many things to discover. So I think, and with Netflix, you can watch it over and over and over. <laughs> exactly. And discover new things. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> a huge round. <laughs>